Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time to do some cleaning and decluttering, but honestly, mainly decluttering because I, I just have too much stuff right now. Feeling overwhelmed again. So, we're tackling the whole spring cleaning thing. I know you've probably seen a bunch of creators online right now being like, okay, it's time for spring cleaning, time for spring cleaning. And then they deep clean their entire house and declutter everything so that it looks perfect and amazing. But guess what? That's not what you're getting on this channel because that's not who I am. You're getting the real, raw, realistic, what does spring cleaning look like when you don't have that much time or energy? This is what you're getting. So. Yeah, I would be really happy if you wanted to join along with me and do a little bit of cleaning or organizing of your own. Basically, I just have to put a couple of things away, kind of like back to their place or maybe find places for them, kind of organize them back into wherever they belong. Then I have to do a bit of decluttering because I have a couple of things that I know that I just need to kind of like get rid of, you know? I could probably be a bit more ruthless than I'm going to be right now, but I just, I need to get some of the extra stuff out of here at the moment and then I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning not like deep cleaning not insane cleaning but you know vacuuming obviously because my dog is creating furnados everywhere based on the fact that he looks like this and it's time for shedding <laughs> He's definitely in his shedding mode right now and there are furnados everywhere. Don't worry, we'll get into all that. But I think that's pretty much it in terms of like what the plan is for the day. Cause today's like the only day that I really have to <laughs> do this. Anyways, I've been trying to keep track of getting some of those little chores out of the way as I'm going, but it's not super easy as someone with ADHD. So I've been trying to do like the habit stacking thing. And one thing that I've actually been adding into my morning routine lately that's helped me kind of get more on track with stuff is kind of just like putting things in my walking path. Cause the first thing that I do usually when I wake up is kind of just come out into the living room and turn off my alarm because I keep my alarm and my phone in the living room, which is a couple steps away from my bedroom, which is right there. And then first thing that I see right here on my kitchen counter is my probiotic, which actually is the sponsor of today's video. So I just got sent these probiotics from Ritual, which actually is a bit of a disservice to them because this is something that I've actually never had before. It's prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. And it's all like clinically proven strands of all this stuff. So if you guys have been following at all along with my eczema journey, you know that I'm a huge fan of probiotics and I've been talking about them for a while and using them for a while. These ones actually adding back on to the whole habit stacking thing, they have a really nice like minty taste to them. So it reminds me to go brush my teeth, which is really good. Cause honestly, like don't judge me, don't judge me. I know a lot of you guys have ADHD too or something, you know? And I don't always remember to brush my teeth in the morning cause I'm just like, I just want to eat breakfast and then I go on with my day and I just forget. So because these are minty, it reminds me to go to the bathroom, brush my teeth and then come back, you know, walk my dog or make my breakfast or whatever, whatever. But anyways, like I was saying before, it's really helpful because these don't need to be refrigerated or anything. So I can literally just keep them right here on my kitchen counter. The first thing I see when I walk in here, cause they're right there. And it's been really nice having like a prebiotic, probiotic, all that stuff regimen back in my life. It's different from any of the other probiotics that I've taken because it has all the different strains and it's like more all encompassing. I can definitely tell the difference between the probiotics that I've taken in the past. I just feel like it's, I don't know, it literally just like, I don't know what words to use. It just feels better. It feels like stronger, more like effective. So if you're looking for a new probiotic to try, you're kind of like on the market for one in between, whatever, kind of like looking 
around. I highly suggest trying Ritual. I've really had a wonderful experience with them so far. They have this really cool thing that if you don't like it within the first 30 days, the first order is on them. So honestly, what do you have to lose? I also have a 25% off discount code if you use my link, which is ritual.com slash gracenevitt. So I will put that in the description for you guys if you would like to try them out. So if you end up trying out Ritual, I really hope that you have a wonderful experience and I just wanted to thank Ritual again for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's get into cleaning. I feel like first I should just like vacuum. The house is covered in freaking dust. Let me just show you. I'm gonna be honest and I'm just gonna show you what's going on. Again, you're not allowed to judge me. I'm posting this on the internet and if you're gonna bully me, then go get a hobby, okay? No shaming allowed. I'm just gonna swipe my hand underneath my um, furniture right here and this is all just like what I can physically grab with my hand right now. As you saw before, I have a very fluffy dog. I literally vacuumed a week ago and that's not even all of it. So <laughs> let's, let's do a little bit of cleaning. Let's do a little bit of freaking vacuuming first because I feel like that will set us up on a good slate and then maybe do some decluttering before we do any cleaning because I feel like if we just declutter a couple things we won't have to clean around so many things. I really need to go through the kitchen. The kitchen is a disaster and I feel like did I not go through the kitchen recently in another video but I feel like I kind of was going through more of the stuff. I haven't really taken a look at the Tupperware which has been causing me freaking chest pain lately i'm just like so annoyed doesn't matter i have to just kind of go through everything not gonna go through the clothes though that's a whole other video that's a whole other series of videos right now so that's not even happening i'm still holding this dust ball okay um Okay, let me throw this away. <laughs> okay, so because I do not have the mental capacity to do a deep clean of my entire apartment right now, I don't have the time, nor do I have the energy. So I'm just gonna do the best that I can and it's gonna feel better. So that's fine. I have enough energy today that I could clean the entire apartment like pretty well, but I'm not gonna do a deep clean. That's not on the cards today. <laughs> so let's see. Honestly, this is the definition of how freaking lazy I am right now. I'm literally putting you guys into my cupboard because I don't want to get my tripod out. Okay, is that fine? The lighting is kind of weird, but it's honestly, this is fine. Okay, what we're working with here is of course sirens because hi i live in new york city i feel like that's the most annoying thing that i say in every single video is like sorry for the sirens but i really just don't know what to say at this point you know what i mean i don't know what this is but i don't think it belongs to me so i cannot get rid of it i have probably too many vases because I don't really buy cut flowers anymore, necessarily. I'm not against it. I just, I'm like, eh, it's fine. I don't need to spend $10 on that. I'm gonna leave these for now. These bowls, none of them are mine, but actually I do use all of them. So I think really our issue is basically just the Tupperware. So I'm gonna get this down here and so we can take a look at it. Okay, what else is going on over here? Nothing else crazy. I feel like we have all of these, we use all of them. The only thing is, this little coffee machine, espresso machine, whatever, does not get used. But I'm afraid to bring it up because I think Ray will be emotionally attached to it. So for now, she'll stay. But I also really need to go through the bags. You know how you just have like a bag of bags? Yeah, ours is getting out of control right now. So I'm gonna deal with that. Let's get into these Tupperwares right now. Okay, so I have this box of lids and all of the Tupperwares that we own in this apartment. Got quite a few. Nothing like absolutely insane, but you know, there's, there's a fair amount. So let's figure it out. Basically, what we're gonna wanna do is make sure that these all have lids, right? So let's play a little matching game. 
this one, this one, maybe not this one. I think this is actually right there in the sink. So that's safe for now. This one, this one. Yeah, that's it. Those ones do not have lids. They do not have functioning lids. Thing is, sometimes you can just use like freaking what's it called and you're fine this does not have a bottom and these um the rubber is gone well yeah it, i was like it's not gone i threw it away but the reason why i threw it away is because it was getting moldy like it was cut in half i don't know for some reason it got all chunked up and it was growing mold inside the things because there was water when we were washing it and blah 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 whatever so i was like this is disgusting i don't want there to be mold right next to my food so yeah probably you're supposed to remove them and wash them every once in a while and i was trying to do that but every time i tried to take them out i would like break them it was so annoying long story short i just like said i'm so done with this ended up throwing them away but not the entire lids because i was wondering if there was a way to get a replacement i looked online i could not figure out where to get a replacement the only thing i could do is buy like a long roll of the stuff and then silicone glue them together or something like that can i be bothered to do that i don't know i genuinely i'm not sure so i am kind of at a loss at the moment I don't know if I should keep these and get those like silicone stretch things, but then I'm like, what is the point of that? Because then I'm just buying more sh And I don't really have saran wrap. That's not a thing that I buy. I only have aluminum foil. So I don't really know if I should keep just these four to like just be things that I can use to hold stuff in just at home. But like at the same time, it's really annoying because this is like the perfect single serving size for stuff. And like if I don't have functional Tupperware, then like what's the point, honestly? So I'm kind of a bit frazzled at the moment as to what to do with this situation with the Tupperware. And this is such first world problems and I understand that. But I just don't really know what to do. Great, so this was completely unhelpful to me. The only information that I got out of this whole situation is that I can throw this away because it doesn't have a bottom. And that's literally it. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do for now is just keep those ones off to the side until I figure out exactly what to do with them um, because I don't want to do what I would have done in the past, which is very hastily declutter something that could be useful, but at the same time, I don't want to like, you know, have hoardery thoughts and feelings and tendencies. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna keep them off to the side. I don't know where, there's not really a side to keep them off to, but whatever. And the rest of them have a use because they have a lid. So I'm just gonna stack them all up as one does. Okay, I doubt that you can tell, but it already feels so much better. Flip, what do you have to say for yourself? He's pleading cuteness. Okay, I'll allow it. Um, this is all clean underneath. The whole table is clean. Hee <laughs> hee. And the kitchen is fine. It's okay. Of course, there's always dishes to be done, but I'm gonna eat lunch really quickly. This is the bane of my existence. I need to clean this and also the oven top, but I'm gonna eat some lunch and then walk my dog and then continue cleaning. Yay. Hi. Okay, I've eaten lunch and I was honestly just listening to this on audiobook. I've read that much of it myself, about 60% of the way through, but I was like, okay, I really just want to get this book over with, so I'm just going to continue listening to this audiobook while I organize this, because honestly, if I try to talk over it, it's just going to be like the whole time, and no one wants that. 
So anyways, let's get to doing that. Okay, I just quickly went through a couple of my little drawersies over here and I think I'm just gonna get rid of these two things. I'm trying to think of other stuff that I can declutter because I feel like I had this whole grand idea that I was gonna be decluttering a bunch of stuff and now that push has come to shove, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, obviously just kind of like trying to make everything feel cleaner is like ideal. Obviously there's plenty of dishes to do and laundry, but that's like constant and always. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else like particular that I could declutter. Hmm, there's actually a couple more kitchen things that I'm gonna try to get rid of. Definitely these, but I think I mentioned that in the last video. I just haven't been able to get rid of them yet because I feel like I always just delay posting on the Buy Nothing group because I don't have the Facebook app on my phone, so it's kind of difficult. And then all these dusty cookbooks. I could definitely get rid of those. And then I have like one mug that I want to get rid of. This mug is horrible and stupid. Who? I mean, I guess if you hold it like this, but like... No, I'm sorry, not for me, not for me. <laughs> oh, I was like, I could probably go into my room and declutter some books and stuff that I might not read, but guess what? I'm gonna give myself until I move to New Zealand to read whatever physical TBR books that I have that I have not read yet. And whatever I don't read, I'm just gonna get rid of. The ones that I've kept and that I'm keeping on purpose to like have as my like, you know, the beginnings of my personal library or whatever, I will keep those because I am a person that yes, although I do consider myself a minimalist, I know that I will be collecting books, but I'm not going to be the kind of person that's just like collects all the books that I've ever read just to like say that I've read them. I want to collect books that I genuinely enjoy and love a lot. So I would really like to have a bookcase that reflects that at some point in my life once I'm just living in one place. But that's something that's gonna take a while and I intend to intentionally do that for the rest of my life, ideally. So that's cool. Cause I do really, really love reading and I'm not gonna go out and buy all of them like brand new or whatever. I, I would wanna try to see if I can get them secondhand or for free or whatever, whatever. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go through my junk drawer because I know something that's in here happens to be some of my like little projects, you know? Like the little projects that I'm supposed to be doing. So let's take a look. <sighs> okay, a little scarf, a little hat, another little scarf. I have a couple of playbills that I actually have to put, oh, in my official playbill thing, but I just realized that one of these is actually not mine. There's an extra one, which I'm probably just gonna toss, or maybe I could see if I could sell it. I don't know, people are kinda wild. They, they buy and collect these things. Anyways, I have Josh Groban's signature on this, so that's pretty cool. I got a hat, I got hair clips, Okay, I have a couple of pairs of tights, which I don't 100% know what to do with yet because I don't really wear the color black very much anymore, so all my tights are black. I don't really know what to do with that. Okay, this is actually something I could go through. The makeup. Okay, so the thing is, I don't really wear makeup. What do I have here? Ibuprofen. Is this even still good? Yeah, it's fine. Hasn't expired yet, so I'll keep that in there, I guess. <sighs> but I have two palettes. And like, you may be thinking, okay, Grace, really calm down because that's not very, like, that's not too bad. That's really fine. And these colors are really pretty, but guess what? I've had this makeup palette for probably, I want to say 10 years now. Is that safe? Maybe not. I don't know. I've never had any problems with it. This one I've had for less time, maybe five years. 
and it's again very pretty all very lovely colors that look good on me and that's why I kept these two as my only ones but hey guess what I rarely if ever go to fancy events and when I do I have one eyeshadow that I use and I'm fine with that. So I don't really know why I have these eyeshadow palettes. Is it just like for just in case? I don't know. I feel kind of sad. I don't really want to get rid of them, but obviously I can't give them to anyone else because they're used by me and very old. So maybe I should just get over it and get rid of this one. It makes me really sad because this is like one of my first and most favoritist makeup palettes that I ever had and I used it a lot, but it might be time to say goodbye. I can't believe I'm still going through this right now at this point in my journey to minimalism. Um, a couple of these things are actually for someone else, so just ignore everything on that side of the thing. A couple of pins that I'm going to give away and my New Zealand passport, aka my most prized possession. <laughs> okay, also these meditation balls, I don't know. I'm gonna give those away as well because I don't use them. Giving that away as well, I'm gonna declutter that. The rest of these I'm just gonna give to my friend. Technically, I use all of this stuff and or will be figuring out exactly what to do with it or decluttering some of it. This is kind of like my things of like, I use these to travel. These are my extra contacts, which honestly, I, would really like to try to resell these like back to the people because I'm not gonna be able to use all of those. Two dresses that I need to fix slash mend, my bathing suits and my One Direction shirts, <laughs> basically. And then these two sweaters that I would like to dye. I was thinking of maybe dyeing this one with coffee grounds. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna sure as heck try to do that and see if it works. And then just random tax documents and my little memory box that I made <laughs> when I was little. So yeah. Okay, there wasn't as much junk in there as I thought. If I ever need to put on makeup and it needs to be like striking or dramatic or anything, like I'll just use that eyeshadow palette. But like I rarely slash if ever do anything that's more of like a subtle look. So I just, I don't. I don't have any reason to keep this. Although the colors are so good for me. But like, uh, this is my fantasy self, y'all. This is me fighting with letting go of my fantasy self because I'm not a person that wears makeup anymore. That's just like not something that I necessarily do. But like, I do wear makeup. Like I wear concealer and mascara sometimes when I film videos and like whatever. But it's just with all of the stuff with my skin and my eczema and everything, like I feel like I just got traumatized by wearing makeup. And as someone that used to be a dancer that did recitals and competitions and performances for theater, I just like, I've had too many bad reactions from having a full face of makeup on. So this is not really like a part of my life anymore and I need to just let it go. So anyways, that feels good. Okay. I guess it's time to throw these things away and then donate the rest of them. All right, that feels pretty good. It wasn't too much, but all we're doing is just like a little bit of light decluttering right now. Like there's nothing, anything crazy that I need to be getting rid of. There's really no more clothes that I need to necessarily declutter. Like I said, with the books situation, that's all the books that Ray and I own. These are all the books that Ray and I own. <sighs> Plus I have a little teapot down there that my mom got me that I probably didn't need to ask for, at least in that like stage of my life. I wanted a teapot really bad. I wanted my own teapot, but the one that we have here already works fine. No one ever wants to drink tea with me anyways, so I have no need for a teapot. It was kind of like a preemptive purchase for New Zealand, which in theory is really stupid because I literally had her buy that six years before we moved. So I was just feeling very, I think I was just feeling very sad, honestly. And I just wanted to have like a piece of, you know, my future life with me here. But yeah, anyways, I also have a different teapot that I thrifted that honestly I've never used once. It's pretty much just decoration, which I think I'm going to try to either sell or declutter into the buy nothing group. 
I'm just not gonna use it <laughs> even though it's really pretty and beautiful it's just not something that I'm going to use so anyways the rest of these wonderful books I've read all the ones up there in that little section these are all the ones that are on my TBR pretty much actually these ones over here there we go <laughs> those are Ray's these ones are mine on my physical TBR and the ones down here are kind of just like extra non-fiction books that are on my TBR. Actually there's one that I will declutter. Back when I thought I was going to be a yoga teacher for a second and I did yoga teacher training. Not really though because I didn't finish the course so that was a huge waste of money but that's what happens when you have ADHD. That's why I try to do free or cheap hobbies now because I'm really tired of all that. So actually I feel like I have a pretty good little thing of decluttered items. We've got all these cookbooks, this yoga anatomy book, these, this, these things, and a couple of like little pins, and then this thing. So that feels really nice actually, plus the little handful of bags that I no longer need or want. I feel like I did a pretty okay job, I don't know, I feel definitely better. Things feel much better around here, cleanliness wise. There's a lot to say about just a light dusting and some decluttering that can really go a long way when it comes to spring cleaning, like you don't have to get rid of three trash bags worth of stuff and deep clean your entire house for it to count as spring cleaning. So, you know, just do the best you can and it's the thought that counts. So I mentally feel miles better than I did before. And I think honestly, the biggest part of that was just vacuuming every square inch of this home, which I didn't take you guys along throughout all of it because who needs to see a vacuuming montage for three minutes. But anyways, everything feels a lot more organized. I definitely need to get into all of the plant stuff that's over there, but I'll probably just save that for another episode of the minimalism series just because I feel like I really want to reconnect with my minimalism side of things because it's a really huge reason why I kind of did the no buy in the first place because I was inspired. There's obviously more cleaning that I can still do but I might save that for another day. In terms of the plant side of things I definitely have to declutter some more of that stuff and I feel like now is the perfect time because everyone's going to be looking for more plant things but I just need to get rid of the extra pots and blah 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 that I'm holding on to because I'm not realistically gonna get any more plants anytime soon and as hard of a pill as it is to swallow I never really wrote any rules about buying more soil for growing things and I don't know if that's because it's not as much of a priority anymore or it's because it kind of just depresses me because I feel like with the space that I have and like, I don't know, just the way that everything is kind of laid out and also my executive dysfunction and the fact that like when I see it, I feel like I just kind of get upset and like a little depressed. I don't really think I'm gonna be growing any herbs or anything this year because every time I try to do it, it just does not turn out well for one reason or the other, whether it's the fact that the climate isn't right or it's not enough space or I'm not watering it properly because I just look at it and get depressed. So I don't really know if I'm gonna put myself through that this year. I might just volunteer at my local community garden and hope that that kind of fills the void. I just don't think I have it in me this year to try to plant something and then have it not sprout or not like bear anything. Just because also I don't have any soil right now and if I spend the money to buy the soil and then get depressed about it and not have anything come of it, it's just gonna feel even worse. So I think I've sadly come to that conclusion <laughs> for myself this year. So yeah, I just have to get rid of some of my plant stuff, which probably will be a whole other video of me decluttering and doing other things. So I think that's it for today's video. Thanks for listening to the little rant that I always do at the end of these. So yeah, definitely gonna call it a day for this one. Also, I picked a perfect day to do this because it's freaking beautiful outside. So I'm gonna actually go and get some fresh air and some sunshine and take my dog on a long walk because spring is maybe possibly springing, okay? I'm gonna go take advantage of that. I 
Love you all. I hope that you had fun following along with me with a little bit of decluttering or whatever. Hopefully you could get something done of your own as well. If not, then just take it slow. Do your spring cleaning at whatever pace feels good for you. I'm saving the rest of mine for another day because I want to go enjoy the actual spring. If you are on the other hemisphere, maybe try to do some autumn and winter cozy cleaning because you're going to probably be spending more time inside your house. So cleaning up your space before you kind of hunker down for the colder months, I feel like is a really good thing to do. And I do it every year. So anyways, love to you all. See you in the next one. Till then, I'm sending you all my love because we're all just trying to rest out here. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you later.